name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. We're preaching here from the pulpit of Mandruwet, the Word of God, and we want that the Lord visit all of us today. I'm just going to tell you about something very important. Christian around the world, and I'm talking about the real Christian, not the one who think they are Christian, they are waiting for one event, one good event. Well, the whole rest of the world is waiting for two events, not one. So what is the one event and what is the two events? The Word of God, and we preach a lot about the coming of Jesus on the air. And the coming of Jesus in the air will take all the one who believed in him to be with him. This is the good news. But it's going to be very bad news for the people who are being left behind. Not because they missed the rapture, but because of something very important. There will be a very big change around the world. Into your mobiles, into your electromagnetic waves, and everything into the economy, and everything will be so shaked and so moved. The reason is the power of God and the Holy Spirit, who, are, who is resigning or in all those Christians will be removed from the earth in one go. So can you imagine the, this power of millions of children of God will be disappearing suddenly. That great power is going to make a move on the earth not very well. And not long enough there will be a change happening around the people. So what will happen after that? There will be three years and a half and another three and a half years. But we don't preach about that event too much. But let me read for you from the word of God what's going to happen during those seven years. This is the word of God. And we are reading here from the second Thessalonian and chapter two. And the Lord is saying that there will be uh, the revelation of one who is the son of the perdition, the man of sin. And in another word, he is the Antichrist. Well, this is what the world will be waiting for. Because if you miss the Messiah, the Christ, then all is left for you is the Antichrist when he will come. And when he will come, there will be a global ruling. Uh, and there will be a not very nice way of treating people around the globe. We really witnessed two years of being maltreated around the globe. But this is going to be just like a, a, a touch of what we're going to see later. But what is saying here in the word, that before this there will be deception and falling away of the children of God. There will be a, a big falling away. People will be moved from their true faith to a place where they will be so confused about what is happening. People will love to, to, to believe into... Nevart, go under the shade. Don't let the rain come on you. You don't want to get sick. No, no, leave it. I, I'm fine. I'm fine. The rain coming. Yeah, I know. Um, Pastor Alfie, please come. No, help us. Yeah, thank you. Can you cover the amplifier with the bag, please? I don't want the water to go to the amplifier. Oh, it's going to be big. All right, let's move then. Sorry, the rain is intensified, but we're still going to preach the word. All right. We should come with the amplifier. Sorry guys for the interruption, but this is here in Second Thessalonians what the word of God is saying about the man of the perdition, the man of sin, when he will be revealed before his revelation, which means the second three and a half years of the tribulation, there will be Very interesting in the word of God is saying there will be a falling away 
All people who desire to believe in the no truth, they will believe in the no truth. People will have the truth revealed to them and they will not believe it. And that's going to be starting now by big numbers. We are here facing that, you know, we talk to people about the truth of God and His revelation and people really reject the truth and they want to have everything the same. They like the gray zone. What is the gray zone? Like the white is not white and the black is not black. They like the shadow. All are the same. All are the same. The truth, the love of the truth, that's going to make the people fall astray. And then here is saying, The Lord has chosen us from the beginning. And then he said that he will make his children going to be a spirit for people not to trust in the truth or believe in it. They will not be able to trust or believe the truth. Let me tell you from um, uh, the book of Ephesus, Ephesians 5, and the Lord here is talking to the man and he's telling them that he is coming and the man should love his wife. And he said always also that he by the washing of the water, the word. When I was wondering all the time when Jesus is coming, we will be coming and find us, are we really the bright spotless bride without any wrinkle or is this what are we now? Look at the church and the Christians around the world if they really are without spot and the word of God is saying. But if this is here what we miss. Christians around the world think there will be a great revival when people will all come in numbers and believing in God. Though that I don't receive, I don't find that much into the word of God. I wish it's true, but I don't find it. But I see what is happening. The preaching is coming harder and harder. Resistance in the people is coming harder and harder. The blur of their vision is more and more. The deafness of the ear is more and more, and the heart is darkened and dark, they cannot really want to see the truth. So here is what Jesus is coming for, for a bride, that's the word of God in Ephesians 5, which is without spot and blameless. How can this be? Because we missed the, the verse which is just before, that he gonna cleanse his bride by the washing of the word. Christian, listen to me. Read the word of God. The Holy Spirit will open your eyes, but the one who's going to do the washing is the Word of God. When you are taught well the Word of God and you know the truth, then this truth will set you free as according to the Word of God. The truth is only and the freedom is only by knowing the Word of God. Well, I was listening here to some uh, preacher and he's saying, casting out demons is very easy. You command him leave, he has to leave. But as he entered, he can come back again. How can you prevent that coming back of the evil on you or in you? It's by the right, the right teaching. The word of God will show you what is the truth and how you can defend yourself and protect himself by resisting the devil. And then he will flee. So he don't find that you're a good place. Say, no, 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 I've been dumb and stupid long time. Not anymore. Go find someone else. And then now you're free and you continue to keep your freedom. The word of God here in Ephesus 5, he's going to cleanse his bride by the washing of the word. Charismatic people, listen to me. Holy Spirit is great. But the washing comes through the word of God, the right preaching. There is heresies here everywhere. You found people here is intensified outside preaching. And they're preaching something which never written or desired by God. Like God is a woman and he is like whatever. A lot of horrible things. And convincing millions of people who like the deception. The word of God here is saying people didn't like the truth. Because if you know the truth, it has to set you free. You're free from the bondage that you lived in. If you know the truth, there is only freedom in the truth. But if we say, that the black is truth and the white is truth and the red is truth and all those ways 
are okay, then none of this, this is the truth. The truth is one. And you need to have the revelation so you can see for yourself there is only one truth. And the truth is Jesus. No one else. And no other. Not because we're Christian. Because he's the one to death to say, I am the way, I'm the truth. No one else stand and said that word. No one dared to say that word. Because all of us are exposed to a measure of lies. The God, he took a form of a man to save you and I. He is the only truth that we find in the world. Well, let me explain to you another. So let me read that again. That they might sanctify and cleanse it by the washing of water by the word. That he might present it to himself a glorious church. Not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. But that it should be holy and without blemish. That's the bride that's going to come and be celebrated on the rapture day. That's the event that the Christians are waiting for. The non-Christians are not waiting for the event of the rapture. But they are waiting for the destruction who is coming. Well, after the church will leave, like I said, there will be an electromagnetic wave, power released and removing, going to heaven. And everything on this earth will be really shaken. Your mobile will not work for you. Your internet will not work for you. Bank system will not work for you. Everything will be shaken to the, to the, the core. Because all the power was being into those people who loved God. They will be leaving instant in, together in one moment. In the, in the uh, Trump, when the Trump will blow, and on that event, all those system will be paralyzed. Because here is like the magnet. Magnet that is positive and negative. When you push all this power away, all those children of God leaving, there will be a chaos here left. When then the event that the people who do not really want to believe in him, they are the Christian, nominal Christian, not really Christian. The one who never loved the truth. Because this is here the word of Thessalonians. They never loved the truth. The truth is what's there. The love of the truth will set you free. People know what is right and what is wrong. But they decide to do the wrong thing and reject the truth. You know what food is good for you and one food is not good for you. But you push the good one and you pick the wrong one without really having a remorse for it. You enjoy the non-truth. But let me tell you, what is the word of God in Zechariah 8 saying? That there is a king of truth and he will come and he will have the city of truth. Have you heard ever of the city of truth? Have your ears heard of it, guys? If you never heard about the city of truth, it has a name. This city of truth is Jerusalem. But not the Jerusalem that we have here. God Almighty will decide that he will not really judge the people anymore. He will